Scientists in Utah this summer discovered that they can track coronavirus in our sewage, believe it or not. Now, as they had hoped, they are using that data to identify trends and even alert communities to the likelihood of this virus. New Special's Jed Bull now with more from the Central Valley Water Reclamation Facility. Ever since April, scientists with the Utah Division of Water Quality have been tracking coronavirus in our wastewater at facilities like this one and others all across the state. Virus concentrations here have been among the highest throughout the state, but a decline in recent weeks tells them something very important. We're starting to see some interesting trends. Not long after COVID-19 arrived, researchers started testing incoming wastewater for the coronavirus at 10 treatment plants statewide. Turns out the stuff we flush away can help them estimate the prevalence of infection in a community without testing everyone. We were able to show that it was an effective way to uh, monitor and the hope was always that you would be able to detect a, a surge or, or something new coming in. After the pilot program, the state expanded the wastewater sampling to 40 facilities. And see where the, uh, the trends are and, and how the virus is moving around in the state. Sharing results online. The sampling is ongoing at these 40 facilities and that covers about 80% of, of Utah's population. Um, so we're getting a really big picture. In Salt Lake County, the data reflects the positive impact of wearing masks. Since the mandate started, data shows a decrease in the coronavirus in the wastewater. Last week, we also saw a little spike happen out at Daga County at Dutch John. Where there had not been any laboratory confirmed cases. So county health officials were alerted to the possibility of coronavirus cases. They can start taking steps to address the spread of the virus in that Dutch John area. Still discovering the true value of the data. This is a tool, um, just as we'd hoped, that health officials can use to um, monitor what's going on. You get this big picture of what's happening in the community without having to, to test everybody. You can find the results from the sampling online at utahvirus.utah.gov. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowles.